Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Bin's Blog and have a nice day to you. Now, I have again uh, one project. This is uh, 200 KB. Uh, this is synchronizing again, synchronizing. And this one is having a totalizing panel. And uh, this one is not a little bit different from our uh, uh, what we did last week uh, for our synchronizing. This one is... Uh, also having uh, a, a linear actuator or uh, the L series so at this point we have to do the synchronizing through uh, the totalizing uh, side so <coughs> guys uh, in my previous blogs also we have and we did it already this one perfectly and uh, successfully uh, and then now this one is only uh, uh, like uh, mechanical engine we just uh, use the l-series to make it uh, we have for the control for the fuel wheeling or for the speed so we can do the synchronizing from this kind of engine so now we're going to start and we go outside so we can uh, do the preparations but this one uh, I did already the wiring and uh, the preparations for the fuel and everything so it is already uh, connected last uh, uh, days because we have some overtime so i did this one for the preparations by the way uh for now uh we will just only uh do uh the the program and the rest of we needed for this kind of asynchronizing so because uh, this generator i already uh, tried to start but i'm having some trouble because it is not giving uh, the power to to run the generator so there is some wrong connections or some wiring is we need to uh, check that one so so i'm excited to do the troubleshooting as always but uh, so let's go so we can see what we're going to do for this uh, synchronizing so now i'm here to our uh, totalizing i just want to show you the connections because this one i prepared already the last uh, days and i will show you the connections for this uh, totalizing so you will also refer where we connected and it is uh, uh, what module we're using same as uh, six, uh, it is 16 I mean and uh, we have for the linear actuator for this because this one only a mechanical engine so we just only uh, <coughs> install that one in order to have our control for our speed to our engine so <coughs> so this one is our uh, breaker one and this our breaker too this is uh, controlled from your uh, module one and uh, this is from controlled from your module too so this is our wiring so this is only temporary temporary because this one is only for the uh, testing and uh, commissioning purposes so we have two uh, battery charger for the two controls and we have the safety fuses we have only four really here because this one is uh, standard synchronizing only there is no uh, other options like i did the last uh, vlogs for the 60 60 and 50 hertz uh, switchable sync and this is our uh, uh, connection down here for your uh, going to your generator so all the connection down here is you can connect from your uh, module uh, i mean uh, generator one and generator two so this is the generator side two and the connections for your uh generator uh one so i just do it like that for the temporary so from here we have the the bus bar connections and you can see down here we have the CT connections also and this is our load side and uh, in the module side we have the DT16 here and we have the total load uh, module here you can see and the lightning lighting the color coding for your uh, pacing so we have the line 1 line 2 line 3 or RYB so we have also here the designated uh, uh, indicator for your close and open breaker so this is our emergency stop 
and here is our module and this is our outgoing uh, indicator so if there is some uh, live connections or live or voltage output from here so okay so from now I'll show you I will plant some generator it will not power up because there is some uh, a little bit wrong connections we need to uh, troubleshoot for that so I will show you what happened and I will start this uh, one generator here okay so now I will start this uh, one generator this is our generator first so this is uh, designated our main or the one generator I will start so you will see also what happened why it is not uh, uh, powering up so we will troubleshoot for that what is the problem Saying we will pressure low, but I think uh, there is something wrong with it. Uh, we will check what is the problem for this, and uh, I will show you also why it is not working out. So <coughs> I will check uh, each of the generator connections, and uh, I will show you where is the problem. So look now here, I remove all the wirings because I am going to troubleshoot where is uh, the problem happen. So our generator is not running and uh, there is some connections which is we need to troubleshoot it. We cannot find the problem and we cannot uh, power up. So first thing you have to check all the connections where it's uh, possible we can find the problem. So. For now, because uh, this really is active, meaning uh, there is the crank point that give to our fuel. But in the switching side, there is no supply going out to your uh, uh, all the accessories uh, for your engine supplies. So this is the relief for our uh, fuel and uh, supply for the positive for your uh, uh, L-series and all the sensors that you have here. But the problem is there is no positive going out from this switch. So I need to check where it is connected and where uh, where it is uh, this wire going through. So just take a look for a while while I do the troubleshooting. now so we're done the troubleshooting for this only uh, mistakenly they connected this main supply for our uh, 3 3a this is our positive uh, they mistakenly connect the negative that why when we cranked uh, it is not uh, having the supply for our fuel solenoid that's why it will not uh, give uh, fueling to our uh, injector so it will not uh, fire up so this is only the mistake we uh, rectify so in order to work our generator correctly so that's it So now guys, I'm going to start generator and I will put the load and check everything 
because we're done already to do the program and I tried already to do the adjustment for the voltage and adjustment for our uh, speed for this uh, synchronizing so now I will put the load so in order to see if all is working correctly so let's start with the first generator first and then apply the load at 100% So now I will start the generator. So this is our one and start. Okay, today uh, we're going to do the manual synchronizing and we will check everything if it is okay or working uh, fine and then we will check one by one the voltage and everything, the, all the status of the generator if there is no uh, problem. So let's do it and start uh, manually for the sink. Okay. So I will start this one and I will start, you will start that one. Then you have to scroll to our arms so we can see uh, if there is high circulating current so we can easily stop that one and then fix the problem. So I will start from now and then close the breaker. Wait for the safety on the leg and then available we will close the breaker. Then we start with the other one. Let's see again. Let's see the fuel. Let's current this is starting from 5 it's increasing to like uh, 12 20 like this I know that one will start so what is the problem for this so now we're going to troubleshoot that why we having that uh, circulating current because if I did not stop that one it will become load the other one if uh, we have the failure for our module to stop I know it will stop high circulating current but to avoid that one I stop it already before it happened of course, so let's start troubleshoot what is the problem for this. Okay, since today uh, we're continue to our topic, uh, synchronizing. And then since uh, yesterday we are already done for our wiring and troubleshooting. And all the configurations, all the biasings we done already. And we tested for 100% uh, load. First generator, second generator. And today I'll just only show you uh, in the auto mode for the synchronizing so you can see also uh, what we did yesterday so we're going to start this generator generator i mean uh and the auto mode so one of the guys there will the one who press the auto missions then i will show you also how it will sync um the other is on already yeah. the fuses the breaker is on yeah. and uh, 
uh, let's try to sync this one in the auto mode so I will just uh, arrange this wait for a while so if I count 40 to 1 you will uh, start uh, pressing the uh, auto okay uh, so ready 4 3 2 1 start <coughs> everything is okay huh? no uh, off and uh, remove the wiring that's it uh, we are done already for our synchronizing and uh, we will uh, shift to the 350 for our again synchronizing but uh, I will make uh, for you that uh, also the videos for everything so you can see also what is the uh, things happen today so once again Vince Blog is here see you again in my next uh, videos bye bye Thank you.